Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, really appreciate it. I got my good friend Carlos joining me today. Hello everyone. And today we're gonna to be taking a closer look at a fragrance that came out some time ago, I know. Uh, this one by Gallagher Fragrances is called Fine Apple, so stay tuned. So this is a fragrance that I know you've already had the pleasure of covering on your channel. Yes. Excellent review, thank you. Um, this uh, is a fragrance that was also kind of sent to me for review. I know I'm a little bit late in putting out this video. I do apologize for that, Daniel. Um, but I'm finally coming around to it, and I wore my very special pineapple shirt for it. All right. <laughs> no, it just worked out that way. So um, this is a fragrance that I've genuinely been enjoying. Uh, personally, like I think you mentioned in the video, it was released in the wrong season. Yeah, and so like this is for warmer months, in my opinion. Yeah. And so I had the same mindset. I said I want to wait for it to get a little bit warmer outside, and I think this would suit that climate just a little bit better. Uh, so basically, this is a pineapple-driven or pineapple-based scent, as if the name didn't give that away right off the bat. <laughs> but there's also like apple, magnolia, there's ambrex seed, musk mallow. If I may. Yeah, please. It has the notes conveniently on the front of the bottle, and it <laughs> contains magnolia, green apple, pineapple, jasmine, dry woods, musk, and ambrette. That's awesome. And so I, okay, so I do know that this fragrance has a combination of synthetics and naturals, maybe even just solely synthetics, um, because I do pick up on an ingredient in here called manzanate. Okay. Um, Daniel, if you're watching this video by any chance, correct me if I'm wrong. So manzanate is, um, it's a synthetic ingredient that kind of gives off like a pineapple and apple vibe. Okay. So I don't know if that's why he listed both of those notes, because there's one aroma chem that's responsible for doing a little bit of both. Um, but it is used in a lot of pineapple heavy scents. And so for me, whenever I smell it, I just can't get the association with Jolly Rancher candies it's out of my sweet. head. It's sweet. This is definitely sweet. <laughs> yeah. So it has this candied approach about it, which I actually kind of like. So recently on my channel, I published a video <laughs> of um, the centerpiece for him by yeah. Bond number nine. I was and I that. said, Yeah, you were. You actually <laughs> did that video with me. And I said, it's not as sweet as the HTTP counterpart, mm -hmm. which I find to be like a candied pineapple. Okay. This is in the same family for me. Okay. Yeah. And so there's a sweetness to it. What do you get in terms of the other ingredients in here? It has an overall freshness to me, albeit sweet. Um, I love the pineapple and apple combination. Yeah. And it's not a ventasy. No, not of at pineapple. All. I like the magnolia. It has a freshness and airiness, and it's perfect for warmer weather, I think. But it definitely has a little bit of a sweetness. Not quite so as the melon was in Amongst, Amongst Ways. Amongst yeah. So for me, this is a great fragrance for the summertime, which I haven't used it, as you can see, because I think it's better suited for the warmer months. Yeah. And uh, I do enjoy it. And for me, it shows a growth in, in Daniel's work. Yeah. So I was going to say that too. So he is an indie perfumer, and I think he has an incredibly uh, talented persona about him. I remember a while back when he first had me try like Bergamust mm -hmm. and uh, Illoren, which is Neroli spelled backwards. And, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. And so I was really enjoying those fragrances, but you could tell that they were pieced together by somebody who was really exploring the craft and really getting his foot in the door. And when you compare it to like Rosé All Day and Fine Apple and Amongst Waves, like he has a very, very large skill set as a perfumer. And so I really admire his work and I also admire you sharing this fragrance with us. So just to get into some of the specifics, some of the specs of the fragrance, I do think that this one can be worn casually and formally, although there's something kind of playful on yeah. account of that candied aspect mm -hmm. that I would say just wear this one casually if you can. I think it is affordable. It's in the affordable range. I don't remember the price right off the top of my head, but it was a little over a hundred if I'm not mistaken. And the presentation for this one, the full presentation is gorgeous. He, uh, he's got like the uh, Killian kind of sort of coffin, black, blacker. Yeah. Yeah, with like the silk bedding on the mm -hmm. inside. It looks really, really nice. And even the attention to detail on the bottle, like you have GF uh, at the top, magnetic cap, uh, a few Easter eggs in and around the bottle. Like there's a shamrock, uh, <laughs> a, a clover on the inside. So it's really, really cool. For his Irish heritage, of course. Mm -hmm. And even the logo has the 
the Irish crest on it. So um, awesome in terms of uh, sex, I think it's unisex. And I think like we said earlier, this is one that it's geared more towards the hotter weather. But all in all, I think it's a wonderful scent. Yes, I pick up on a, a little bit of the woods. I definitely pick up on the fruity nuances. As, it, as the sweetness and brightness and freshness of the fragrance starts to uh, wind down on skin, that's when you get the uh, other aspect. Yeah, with a little bit of that synthetic musk. I don't get the jasmine per se, uh, but this definitely is about the pineapple. So if and you're magnolia. a fan of pineapple, magnolia as well, yeah. And that's actually the first note in the note breakdown. So funny enough, there's probably more in there than we're perceptive to. Uh, but I bet if we smelled the raw materials one by one mm -hmm. and then revisited this one, we'd be like, oh, yeah, there is magnolia in here. But uh, first impression with this one, if the name didn't give it away already, is <laughs> uh, pineapple. So guys, thank you so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. Carlos, thank you for being on my channel. My pleasure, buddy. Anytime. So Carlos's information will be down below as well. Uh, so definitely make sure to check him out. And also, if you are new to this channel and you did take something of value from this video, I would really appreciate your subscription. All you have to do is click the red subscribe button in the corner. And this way, whenever I do upload future videos, they will get delivered straight to your feed. You'll be notified right away. And I do put out a lot of fragrance-related content about a new video every other day, sometimes every day, if I have a lot of content in the backlog. So thank you guys for watching. Carlos, make sure to check out his channel as well. Great content at BFL. Thank you. And sometimes <laughs> you put out a video a year later. I'm like, oh my God, I remember yeah. when we did that. <laughs> I have some videos, believe it or not, that go even further back yeah, than a year. I can believe it's, it. It's a little crazy. I'm actually all caught up, but there was a point, and I love that when I have, when I can take a couple of weeks off and just chill and not have to worry about yeah, content. But I uh, value that so much, being able to spend time with the family, just have a day when we can, you know, discuss fragrances and just have fun with it. So. Thank you, Carlos. So thanks again for watching, guys. See you in the next episode. Bye.